Hi everyone, thank you for watching. Alright, today I'm going to show you how to configure FHA. Alright, so FHA is a new feature in vSphere 5.5 and uh, um, it's actually been compiled with uh, two VF. One is the vFabric Hybrid VF and as well as the FHA VF. So, without further ado, uh, we will import in these two VF into my environment. I do know that the V fabric hybrid needs to be 5.7 although the latest is 5.8 do download the version that is part of um, the download binaries of vSphere 5.5 Alright, if you encounter such error like what I'm seeing now what you need to do is to deploy your V app using the vSphere client. Right, this is actually documented in uh, one of the KV which I included in my blog. Note that um, the vFabric hybrid server also requires you to use um, IP pool just like what vCops is doing. So here I'm not going to use transcend or TCP because uh, my address might change so I'm going to set it as fixed. The reason is because um, your agent will constantly require you to talk to the server and if your IP address keeps changing, this might um, create some issues later on in your happy J. Alright, we're going to review the setting and if everything is okay, we're going to just click um, finished. Hybrid VM. And while that's going on, um, I'll import the V. Um, while that's going on, I will import the FHA VF as well. Here you also need to set the password to access the VM and your network configuration in your environment. Alright, while that's going on, uh, we'll come back again once this is completed. Now we have completed and um, the V app is also powered on. Now just know that the V app will be powered up uh, in sequence of Postgres and then the hybrid server. While that's at it, um, let's just refresh the web client. Right, to get both up and running. Okay, you can see that the hybrid server is still Putting up. So I also previously blogged about it on the uh, vSphere 5.5, all right. And I have actually shown a list of um, applications supported by FHA. So just do note this is still at 1.0. So this is the list, all right, that's supported at the moment. So let's just wait for a while. I'll resume once this is uh, put up to the console screen. Alright, so here you can see um, we are now in the console screen of the uh, hybrid server. So you can see that there are two URL provided. One is the web console. This is to configure the VM, which we don't need to do it um, anymore since um, during the import, the wizard has already configured everything for you. So we just need to go to the hybrid UI. Right, so you need to just log in right, using the password you have configured. So upon login, uh, you see the dashboard, but there's nothing displaying yet because there's no agent actually being plant into the environment. So I'm just gonna switch off that. So first of all, um, we need to get it connected. Um, I'm gonna show you how can you um, install the agent. All right. Um, into the any of the VMs that you're going to monitor. So here I have one um, demo machine that has a SQL uh, 2008, all right. And um, I'm going to just install the hybrid um, agent. So you will, when you download it's in the zip file, so you will, we will just need to extract it out and place it somewhere in the C drive where you won't delete it. 
So you just need to have a copy it through. So inside there, there's a readme file. Alright. So open it with WordPad so you won't actually um, get this kind of formatting. Alright. So I'm just going to open that in WordPad. So you can see that there's some instruction for you to start and stop the service. But however, you need to install the um, service into the service manager, else um, these commands will not work. So we're just going to close it. Right, there's very little information that you can do here. Um, so that's the reason I'm like, um, doing this video and also in the blog. Right. So let's just go into the directory. Here you will see that um, the batch file is there. So before even I run the back file, I just want to show you guys um, how you can configure certain things so that you don't get uh, to you don't have to enter some of the parameters. All right. So under the cons folder, when you are inside the um, agent directory directly, you will you see an agent file. So scroll down the agent file. All right. You will see some mark out. Um, parameters and uh, we just need to unmark them All right, I'll post this in, in my blog which you can reuse them alright so what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna key in the ID which is the default we did not change it and the password which I will not change it here um, then uh, we're, not, we're gonna accept the unverified certificate and um, there's also another portion that uh, we need to change which is called accept unverified certificate we're going to change that to true because we already accept it so we need to set it to true All right with that completed um, I'm just going to enter the password okay so I have entered my password and uh, done with that so I'm going to run uh, first we'll install the service into the service manager so you will get a hybrid um, service here. So I don't have any here now under H. Right? So after the word install, and you can see here, I have a hybrid HQ agent. Okay, so if you want to know what parameters or uh, options are available when running this batch file, you can just click the batch file and uh, you can see these are some of the services. Here you can see there's a start, stop, there's a restart, and there's also an install which I just used and that's also set up so if you actually go to the service manager and click start it will start however you will not have any settings been done yet or configured it's just starting the service however um, if you did that you can still do the setup by coming here and type in setup okay alternatively to keep everything simple you can just start the service using the command prompt and you automatic run the setup together upon doing the start of the service. All right, so the agent connect uh, unidirectional. I'm just going to leave everything as default. All right, wow, what's the IP address? All right, so let's just key in. All right, I'm going to leave everything mostly as default. Then you actually test the connection to make sure that you can connect to the hybrid server. And you realize that um, those that we have just configured in the properties file just now, uh, in the agent properties file just now, will get configured. And you actually prompt you with um, the IP of the host, it's going to be that. Right? So we are using a self cert It will ask you if you want to continue. We already did that in yes. Okay, so all this is completed. Right? And you can see the service is now running. Okay. So now I'm going to switch that off. So with that running, um, we should see very soon, right, that um, I put dashboard, you will see, right, all the services have been discovered, right. The main thing we want to see here is the SQL service. So I'm going to leave that for now. So we got to do the same for the vCenter server here, which I'm in now. Same thing, I'm going to just copy the agent and uh, while it's a date, let's just prepare, we go in Alright And uh, we'll configure the 
properties files as well. That's the usual. Alright, and I'm going to keep the password. Okay, so after doing that, I'm going to run the file and install the service as well, which uh, I do not have the service here yet. This is a HY, right? So just to convince uh, everybody, I just refresh, I still don't have it. So I'm just going to click uh, install. So now, upon refresh, we appear. And now um, I'm going to do starting of the service. And uh, let's just do it. set up. Same thing has completed. Right, and you can see my hybrid AJ is not started. So I'm going to switch off um, and close all this. And you go to the hybrid dashboard again and click on it. And I can see my vCenter as well. Okay. So with that completed, what we can do now is to power up the app HA VM. But before I do that, I just want to show you that I have not configured anything yet. So you do not see an option of FHA here. In the client plugin, we do see FHA to there but the extension you do not see it there okay so let's power on the FHA server yep yeah. and while it's power on um, we'll wait for it to reach the console as well and I'll resume this okay so now it's uh, powering up I'm just going to close this with that completed, I'm just going to sign out for my web client and sign in again. Um, alternatively, it can reload, but sometimes um, reload don't seem to work very well. So I'm just going to do a sign out and sign in. Okay, so under administration, we we'll just go in. You can see the FHA is now in. Server so extension, you see there's a FHA now. Under vSphere FHA, you see that the settings, the extra options is now there. So we're just going to connect that to the hybrid server. And because we use the cell side search, we need to accept the search. There we are connected. So if you were to remove, what you need to do is that you have to come back here to click uninstall and um, delete the connection of the FHA. A which I we just did down here, all right. Uh, in hybrid server, which I'll show you later on. Upon doing just what I did, um, connecting the FHA server in the web server client, you will see what is this recently added. So we are just gonna click resources and browse. We we'll go to platform, which we're already here. We just gonna click on the server, which is the vCenter. Don't click the wrong ones. Right under tools menu, we're gonna add a new server. In new new server, we're just gonna use a name for VC, and uh, we're gonna choose B Center, put an X trick, and we're gonna click OK. Right once created, you just need to complete click the configure properties, key in the IP address of the V Center. The credentials uh, that you will be using. But I keep the process query as default and uh, uncheck auto discovery services. So do make sure that this is unchecked and click OK. If everything is correct, you'll come back to this screen. Alright. So if you were to do an uninstall, as I mentioned, after clicking uninstall in the web client, before you can delete the FHA machine, you need to come to resources. Under platform, click on um, the platform and delete the vCenter. Then, that then you can delete the FHA client and the vFabric uh, machine. That creates um, the FHA now. So this shows you the installation of FHA. In my next video, I'll show you how we can uh, do the policy and uh, do a test on the policy as well.